Y'all are mad at me because of the requirements that I have for the man that wants to be in my life. Y'all are acting like because y'all think I'm ugly, I somehow don't have any standards or value or contributions to society. I'm not changing my mind simply because y'all feel like I don't deserve Things it. Things I expect men to do in marriage. Okay. Number one, pay the rent, mortgage, and utilities. So that's like the rent the water and like the electric you know what i'm saying and then if we have a home like the property tax and the mortgage insurance all that good stuff no. all right guys what's going on today how everybody doing okay so i ran across this video um mediocre reviews it was doing this this, this was a while back and i meant to say something about this video a while back but it's funny uh, this lady is so delusional, man. This is crazy. Uh, this is the thing. I'm going to read it verbatim. Things I expect a man to do in a marriage. Now, I want y'all to be kind when y'all see this video so y'all don't trip. But uh, you got to see this and listen to this crap. But before we do it, make sure you hit that what? Subscribe, like, and notification bell. Cool. All right, so now we got that out the way. So let's get to this delusional video. Check it out. Okay. Number one, pay the rent, mortgage, and utilities. So that's like the rent, the water, and like the electric. You know what I'm saying? And then if we have a home, like the property tax and the mortgage insurance, all that good stuff. Number two, to do most of the cooking. I cook, but I don't really like to cook. So it's really a plus when I meet a guy who is really good at cooking. And there are actually a lot of men that are great cooks. Number three, the dishes. Um, I don't like doing the dishes, so it would be great to have a man <laughs> that just took that chore off of my hands because I don't like to do the dishes. <laughs> Isn't this a little, um, little crazy here? Yeah, it's a little crazy. She doesn't want to do anything. I mean, who who uh, really wants to be involved with someone like that? Let's just be real. But she has more, so let's let's continue to watch it. You know, I, I just had to say something. I don't just mean like put number four, do the laundry. And when I say do the laundry, at the clothes in the wash, I mean like the whole process. Put the clothes in the wash, put the clothes in the dryer, put them up, iron what needs to be ironed, fold what needs to be fold. Like do the whole thing from A to Z. Number five, take out the trash. I don't like to take out the trash. Number six, any yard work or housework. Now he doesn't necessarily have to like fix it. Like she has if there's a very like nice a broken voice. pipe or something, like he doesn't have to fix it, but he does have to be responsible in calling whoever to make sure that it is fixed. You don't got so nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all. Number seven, upkeep the car. So that includes any tire changes that need to be made, any oil changes that need to be made, um, putting gases in the car, making sure the cars are washed, like the whole process of upkeeping the cars from A to Z. Um, number This young lady is, uh, I don't know, what, what the hell is going on? Why does she think she will get a guy that will actually do this? And see, that's why we say you're delusional because y'all have all these, y'all have this list of what you think a man should do in a marriage. But she never said, you know, what she's willing to do. She always saying what she's not going to do to the point where it, it's sounding like a lazy person. Let's just be real. She sounds like she's lazy as fuck. Let's just be for real. And don't want to do anything and want some man to take care of her. But I don't see that shit happening. Nope, 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 nope. And don't y'all look at me like that because y'all saying the same damn thing. It ain't gonna happen. No, no, no. It ain't gonna happen. Good you got a list like that because you can justify why you don't have someone, but uh, that ain't the damn answer. And, and then she got more, y'all. She got 10 things. So we had eight. So let's get it. A is date nights at least twice a month, but that actually goes into like any form of recreational activities. So if we're going kayaking, if we're deciding to take 
a camping trip, if we're deciding to go to a theme park, just at least real? two dates and or recreational activities per month. And number nine, an annual honeymoon. Um, I do want to be one of those couples that takes a honeymoon every year in a different location. I think that's super cute. So definitely an annual honeymoon and then a separate family vacation. Um, so that's two big trips per year. So a honeymoon and a separate family vacation. And yes, I expect for him to pay for it. Listen to me. Okay, so this is her list. That's it. That's shit. That's enough, right? Um, surprisingly, I, I don't think this could be real whatsoever. But if this woman is thinking like this, she's saying shit like kayaking and all this. You can tell this woman ain't been no fucking kayaking. I mean, come on. She probably sitting up in the fucking house. So she ain't been on no kayaking. But, and then about this honeymoon thing, two honeymoons a year. Where y'all get this shit from? Who does that? I, I don't get it. Like, or annual honeymoon. But, you know, it's the delusion of all these new, these young girls now and they trying to cre recreate what traditional values are and ways of doing things. And they come up with stupid shit like this and they go online and they post it. And now everybody's supposed to be like, oh, yeah, yeah, she said it. Yeah, that's what I want. That's what I want. you will never, ever, ever, ever find a man like this. It doesn't exist. You will never find it. So let's just be real and, and knock off the bullshit with this. All right. So, you know, I thought I would just post this because it's stupid as crap. And y'all like stupid shit on here. So I'll post it. She want to be seen. Now you've been seen. But that's it for me, man. This. <laughs> I'll still try to get over this shit. But that's it for me, man. You guys don't forget. Subscribe, like, hit the comment. Let me know what y'all think about this. This JP, a.k.a. And Mr. Nobody. They say, why that? Because they say, who are you? I say, I'm just nobody. Ace.